Consumers Energy says crews are staying prepared in the event of outages from this storm that we've been telling you about. So joining us now is Brian Wheeler, the media relations manager with Consumers. Brian, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So how are things looking right now across West Michigan from your perspective? Yeah, uh, you've been really focusing on, on, on the big issues here. It's an intense storm with a lot of heavy, sticky snow. And then we know overnight we're going to see a, a round of wind come through our state as well. So we've been looking at this forecast for the week. The storm really is playing out just as expected. And right now we have about 15,000 consumers energy customers without power statewide. Uh, what this really means is that our 400 crews, consumers energy, folks from Michigan, folks from nine other states who are here in our state, uh, their work is beginning right now to start restoring power and to really be on the front edge as soon as that next wave of bad weather comes through. You know, Brian, I noticed early this morning when I was at the YMCA, I saw some trucks already just out there parked. Is that how you guys prepare for a storm like this? Yeah, you think about 400 crews, that means over 1,000 people who do just the electric line work alone. And so what they've been doing the last few days is really mobilizing, getting equipment, getting trucks uh, into the right location. So we are focusing on the Grand Rapids area. We're focusing on the Cadillac area, um, as well as other locations around the state. The challenge with this storm is that it has a big impact, a big footprint. And so we're, we're going to have to focus on a lot of places at once. That's why we staff up and bring a lot of people. You see them already getting ready, and you're going to see them working through the night tonight. Yeah, and tell us about those people who come from outside West Michigan. Did you say nine other states, crews from nine other states? Yeah, we, again, looking at how severe this, this weather was going to be and is right now, uh, we put the word out early. And so we have some crews in Michigan today from Colorado, Oklahoma, Alabama, New York, a lot of places far away. But uh, that sort of pre-planning is so important because um, especially with the storm coming through, there's going to be cold weather, very cold weather on the back end of it. We know some people are going to lose power. Our job is to get that restoration going as fast as possible so that we can get as much heat on and lights on for people before the weather turns very cold. What's consumers' advice for preparing for this storm ahead of time for homeowners? Absolutely. I'm sure a lot of people have been preparing already. I would say if you have power tonight, make sure you're charging your phones, making sure you're you get uh, those pieces of equipment up to speed so that if you do lose power, you have a resource to connect to the outside world. Have an emergency kit. Know that you have food and water and medicine on hand. Uh, flashlights, of course, too. Being prepared is never a bad thing. It's never too late, actually, too, because while we have 15,000 customers without power now, there could be more overnight. Uh, it's not too late before you go to bed tonight. Go to consumersenergy.com slash outage center and get tips and advice and other things you can do to get ready. Good advice. Brian Wheeler from Consumers Energy, thank you so much for taking time to join us. Thank you.